All right, we're keeping this train rolling. Give it up for Danny Palmer! Thank you. Wow, thank you for cheering. What's up, you guys? What's up, dudes? The hot girls up front? Nice, eh? You guys drinking? Y'all drinking on Friday night? Yeah. Anybody on meth? Just me? Free joke. Okay. This, uh, this girl that I work with, she told me that she can't watch any movies or television because they overstimulate her senses. Yeah, isn't that dumb? So just to screw with her, I made her a brownie and I put some shrooms in it. And then I took her to a laser light show and I went down on her. Yeah, she's dead. Just for the record, when I knew she was dead, I stopped licking. I'm not a monster. <laughs> That's my opening joke. <laughs> I'm 38, I'm single, I don't have any kids. I don't even want to have kids, frankly. Everybody's like, well, Danny, if you don't have kids, who's gonna take care of you when you get older? I'm like, you want me to inseminate a woman so that I can produce my own home health care aid? <laughs> I'm not doing it, man. I like being single, it's a fun lifestyle, you know, but I do feel like at some point I should settle down and get married. I mean, it is the natural order of things out in nature, right? Like if you go to a pond and you see a family of ducks, <laughs> there's always like a mom duck and a dad duck and four little baby ducks. There's never like an older, single, jaded, <laughs> horny duck. Or cruising the milk ducks. He's out there swimming around trying to get duck puss. <laughs> duck puss. <laughs> That's phrase. <laughs> Lift those feathers up. Uh, Fuck a duck from behind, you don't wish it. <laughs> off topic, off, off script, all right. Are you guys a couple right here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you guys do, do, you guys do dirty talk? Uh. <laughs> Sounds like a yes. <laughs> what do you say, what's an example? Well, I'll make some jokes on you. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. I like dirty talk, right? But you have to be careful with it. Like, if you do dirty talk with somebody that you don't know very well, in the heat of the moment, you can end up committing to something you don't really want to commit to. <laughs> like, I was having sex with this girl. She's on top of me. She's like, yeah, do you like that? Does that feel good? I was like, yeah, it feels real good. She's like, yeah, you like when I fuck you? I was like, yeah, I like it a lot. She's like, yeah, you want me to fuck you all summer? I was like, let's just play it by ear. <laughs> You guys ever think about mixing dirty talk and baby talk? Oh, God. Get rid of this. It's kind of dirty, right? You're fucking this girl, you're giving it to her really good. You're like, yeah, you like that girl? You like that? Yeah, you want me to come? What do you want me to come? You want me to come over your tum tum? Yeah? <laughs> Sorry, on it? <laughs> come on a tum tum. <laughs> Competition joke. <laughs> You know what I'm into lately, dude? This is my new thing. I'm into like Muslim girls, like hardcore Muslim girls. The ones, yeah, the ones that wear the veil, like all you can see is their eyes. Like I used to write those girls off in the past and like there's no way those girls would ever consider me as a dating prospect, so why even try? But the more I think about it, you know those girls never drink, so their alcohol tolerance is probably super low. I feel like if I got one of those girls to do a shot with me, it would just be game on. Like she would do the shot and just rip off her veil and be like, Danny, I reject my religion and embrace your cock. <laughs> right, I gotta speed this one up. Uh, I work with this girl, Carla, I'm 38, she's 24, 14 years younger than me, but she's like smoking hot, I'm like in love with her. 
So, uh, <laughs> it's inappropriate, but she sent an email out to everybody on our team one day. She was like, hey, you guys, we have a conference coming up, and I want everybody to get to know each other a little bit. So everybody email me a fun fact about yourself. It's fun fact time. I was like, well, Carla, I have a whole series of fun facts I'd like to share with you. Uh, fun fact, I think you're beautiful. Fun fact, I have a crush on you. Fun fact, I wrote you a song. Fun fact, I've been arrested four times. Fun fact, I memorized your address. Fun fact, I'm in your driveway. Fun fact, this isn't an email. You're asleep and I wrote it on your back. Yeah, she's dead too. Remember the first one? Two dead girls. Thanks, guys, you're awesome. Thank you very much. Bye.